Darren, uh, Crusaders away on Saturday, uh, another big game, this was they're all big games but certainly in, in the context of the season at this stage and obviously with the run that we've been on it's important but certainly go out and put on a performance. Yeah, it's it's vitally important as you say that we go out and put in a performance this weekend, especially looking back to the past couple of performances there. You know, we've got we have to go out now and show that we've got a performance in us because we have let ourselves down and you know effectively let, let the fans, the supporters down and the club over the last couple of weeks. And you know it's not in our character because um we've been very disappointed with ourselves because of it. So Saturday is more about probably a performance than anything else. In terms of the last two games, I know you weren't you weren't involved and you weren't you weren't on the pitch for them. But you mean as you touched on there, sort of the maybe the, the disappointment in the in the way the games went. Not just not just obviously the end result, but in terms of how you sort of maybe comfortably, for want of a better term, we ended up coming out in the wrong side of the result. Yeah, um, I suppose. When you look at the last two games we played, there are games that you're you're marking down at the start of the season, saying, "Look, these are potential points for us, and uh, and that needs to be your bread and butter throughout the season, especially with with the way we're fixed and where we're sitting in the table." So it, it, it's very very disappointing um, to go out and and not pick up any points from those two games. So look, it's it's at that point of the season now where. It's very and vitally important to start getting points on the board. So, and the only way you're going to get that is by working hard and, and moving on from the previous few weeks. What's the mood like? What's the mood been like in the camp over the over the last couple of weeks? And I suppose this week as well. And I suppose from your perspective as club captain, I mean, how do you sort of involve yourself in that? Maybe in I don't know, sort of lifting boys' moods or, or things like that. Not only the club captain, but the longest serving player as well. Yeah, but I mean, I've been here before in this situation, this scenario and you know, I'm looking around this change room as I did with previous change rooms and there's characters in it and there's loads of fight and there's loads of hunger in it. Um in terms of the mood over the last few weeks, the mood the mood's been good. It's been more just disappointment in ourselves and how we've performed and how we've let ourselves down, you know, and, and it, it's important now that we, we step up and, and put things right going forward. In terms of the match on Saturday, Crusaders. I mean, you know, any team finds it difficult going to see you. Um, probably haven't had haven't had our best results over there over the last number number of years. Um, I mean, they're always a, a big, physical, powerful side. I mean, expecting sort of more more the same of that on, on Saturday. Yeah, you're you, at down at Seaview. You're always going to get. You're going to be in a battle first, and then obviously you've got a lot of quality in the side as well. So you need to be. At 100%, every player needs to be at 100%, working really, really hard and effectively um, implementing everything we've been working on in training um, that Gary and, and Michael and Dee and that have been telling us to do. You know, it's about going out and, and trying to use our game plan and impose our, ourselves on them, I suppose, which we haven't done in, in previous weeks and, and see where that takes us. I suppose we'll, we'll probably come across a familiar face and James Taylor. Um, he had a he had a great sort of season, season last season, a great sort of two two years. I think he was here, um, but I mean maybe he hasn't been getting a whole lot of game time at Crusaders. Uh, but we all know the talent that, that James possesses, and you know he, he still down comes down to watch watch some of our matches. I mean, if you're up against him, I mean, is that going to be an unusual experience? Yeah, look, he's a fantastic wee lad, Jamesy, and fantastic footballer. Um, but you know yourself when it comes to football, um, yeah, it, it will be different because you're used to encouraging him and, and wanting him to do well for your team and your side. And you know, and uh, he's one of those lads you come in like all the young lads that when he was here, you know, I was always being positive towards him, encouraging him, and, and helping him along, and, and wanting to see the best for him. And you know, if it's the case then on Saturday where you're playing against him, it's going to be a different story altogether, I suppose. Just last couple. Uh, in terms of this weekend, I mean, it's difficult, I suppose, as supporters not to look ahead to the Balamina game here uh, the following Friday. As players and as management and as coaches, you know, you obviously have to look at the next game in front of you, and we've obviously got a League Cup game in, in a quarter final in the middle of that. But how important could these for the next two games be? Crusaders away on Saturday and Gannon away on Tuesday night in the League Cup. Be in terms of performance wise, at least to build a bit of momentum in that regard coming into what is look, it's a it's a huge clash against Balamina here in, in, in 10 days' time. 
Yeah, um, it's it's that stage of the season now. You know, this this busy sort of holiday period, Christmas period, is where you know what makes or breaks teams, and it's very important that you go out and you perform well, and you, you get some form of run going, and you build confidence in the squad. And you know, it's it's one of those things. If you go out and you get a good performance, it breeds confidence into the group. Um, I suppose previous weeks that hasn't happened, but we've we've remained positive, and we're we're trying to forget what had happened and move on. And uh, you know, if you're looking at the teams around us, there, the likes of Balamina and that, you know, you're looking at their squad, you're looking at ours, and there's no way there's any of them better than what we have in, in this changing room. And, you know, I, I can only speak for our own changing room, but in terms of the camaraderie and the will and desire that we show in training, if we can just bring that on to the to the pitch, um, then we'll definitely turn those negative results into positive results. And, and you know, it's as I say, it's that time of the year where we need to get points on the board, so it's going to be important. And just finally... Last Friday night here against Glavin, um, you know the fans in the shed end you made made a lot of noise, made plenty of noise. Obviously, you can see frustrations then whether that, that be at the ground or you can see frustrations maybe in social media of you know whatever you have on a run of poor results like we are at the moment. But I suppose the message is from the club captain to the supporters, you have such a close relationship and a close affinity with those supporters to just ensure that they stick with the club, stick with the boys, and and you know play their part. I suppose in in, in getting us out of the position we're in. Yeah, well, I mean, this is the thing. There's, there's no doubt we've let them down last couple of weeks, you know. And as I said, we've we've let ourselves down, and we are disappointed in that. And any time from 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 I've been here, you know, we've took the highs and lows together, supporters and players. Um, yes, there's loads of frustration there, and that's that's understandable. And I suppose we're at a point now as players where there's no point talking anymore. We need to go out now and start doing on the pitch and, and give the supporters a Christmas period that they deserve.